how's everyone doing? I'm King Fur here, and today, um, I got a rather interesting video. Um, so, uh, today, um, I'm just gonna do an interesting Pokemon TCG video. It's an interesting deck. I have some more decks in the work. There's a Glaring Weezing deck that I'm uh, working on. I will get to that sometime. But today I wanted to do an interesting deck. I wanted to do a fun one. So, we're going to do a deck revolving around Celebi V. Now, most of y'all would think Celebi V, that's one of the worst V, probably one of the worst V cards. Now, yes, I'm not saying it's amazing, but I'm not saying it's terrible either. Personally, I like it. Uh, for the people that don't know, one of my f most favorite expanded decks to play is Zorark. I absolutely adore Zorark. And so to see Celebi V have a second attack that's kind of like Zorark's attack for, uh, one attack, besides the GX attack, I like. So, I decided to make a new version of Zorark for a uh, standard, the best I could. And it works. I had some changes, but it seems to work. So, let's get on to how this deck works. So mainly you want to get Celebi V out, you also get some Sensino out for draw support, you can get Rillaboom out for some extra acceleration for energy, so you can get that um, turn one, like that uh, place down, a, uh, a voltage beat and you begin attacking again. And then, um, yeah, you just keep attacking. Let's get on to the Pokemon. I play a 4-4 line of Sentino. Now the reason I play Sentino is because it has Zoroark's ability. Discard a card from your hand, draw two. So I think it's a great inclusion, so, um, because you can constantly discard and constantly draw. And it's just great for consistency. Now the thing is, you probably you'll look at this and was like, why don't you play Jirachi? Because we got Sentino for draw. We don't need Jirachi, because we can go through our deck relatively quick. Um, I play two Celebi V. I'm gonna play four once I can get four, but until then, I'm gonna get play just two. So, right now, uh, the necklace is only gonna have two, but later on, I'm gonna have four. Um, then I play one Elgoss V. This is just so I can get um, my supporters back, um, so like Boss's Orders, um, Research, or Cynthia, or stuff like that. And then I play. A 2-1-2 line of Rillaboom. I only play 2-1-2 line because um, Celebi's attack is relatively cheap. So I don't think I need to play a heavy line of Rillaboom because I'm not needed to accelerate that much energy. So, but Rillaboom would be a nice and, um, extra so I can accelerate energy if I need to, but it's not required. Um, I play 1 to Denon GX, I don't think you need to play 2, if you want to play 2, by all means, I just don't know what you could take out. Um, I just play it for extra draw support. Discard your hand, draw 6 cards, good. Um, I play 1 Mew, this is so I can, uh, not get affected by, like, Tag Bolt, uh, Cramorant, or any of that, that, any of those bench snipers. It's just better that way. Um, I play Mr. Mime because Scoop Up Net's popular, and I think it's best to do that. Um, moving on to trainers now. Um, I play one Energy Recycler so I can get any, like, my Grass Energy back. Um, because you're probably gonna, um, lose some energies through discard, so it's best to have an Energy Recycler as a shuffle draw. Well, a shuffle back to, uh, as a shuffle some energy back to your deck. I play two Evo Incense. Now, it's not to get Rillaboom, it's mainly to get Sensino. And there's no easier way to get Sensino out, so to have Evolution Incense is good. Um, I also play one Great Catcher. Now, the reason I play one Great Catcher is because I don't have enough boss swords. I only have one. Um, so I make do with what I can. So I play one Great Catcher. Um... I also play four net balls. This is just so I can get Celebi V out, Eldegoss, or a Grookey's out. It's the best option, or I can get some Grass Energies out. Um, I also play two Ordinary Rods. Um, the reason for two Ordinary Rods is just so I can get Celebi V back, and or Gorilla Boom or Sentino, or anything back, and then some energy back, just in case if I've already used my energy recycler. 
Um, I play three quick balls. This is mainly just to get the Dene, Mew, Mime, or Messino. So I don't need to play four because I already got net balls to get most of what the Pokemon, other Pokemon. Just so, just three. Um, I play two rare candies. Um, this is just so I'm able to get Rillabooms out quicker. And I think two is only needed. You don't need to play more. I don't know why you play more. If you want to play more, go ahead, but you just, I don't know what you take out. Um, I play one tool scrapper. This is just so, um, I, um, this is just for stuff. Um, I don't know what tool cards exactly. Well, there's metal frying pan, um, which that Shin will use, or, um, so that would mean, um, I'll be doing sexy less damage to them because that and V is resistant to grass. Um, but. Tool scrap can get rid of that metal frying pan, and so I'm not doing less damage. Um, I also play a life force. This is just so I have a healing option. I really think um having a healing option in this deck is good. Because Celebi V is a low um HP Pokemon, only 180 HP, so to have a way to heal off some damage dealt to you, pretty good. I play one turf field stadium. Now, the only reason is because there's only one evolution line, and that's Rillaboom, so you really only need one to get those out, in which you, you should possibly have a rare candy in your hand, um, so that's um, just some, so it's just some way to get some of the evolutions out. I play one boss's orders, um, so you can gust up Pokemon. I don't think I need to explain that. I play two Cynthia for Shuffle Draw. I play one Guzma and Hala because I got some tool cards, I got some special energy, and I got some stadiums, so it's just an easy way to get them out. I also play three Professor's Research. This is just for um, aggressive draw, a di aggressive discard draw. Just so if I need to play aggressive, I can pl um, just discard my hand, draw seven. It's just a great draw support. I play one Air Balloon just in case if, like, say, um,. I have something like the Dene or Rillaboom or um, Cincinnati active or anything, I can get them out um, without having the discard energies to retreat. Well, with the Rillaboom, there's an exception. It will just bring it down to one energy. I also play two big charms. Now, the reason I play two big charms is because um, Celebi V has low HP. And due to that, it can be easily knocked out. So to get 210 HP is honestly better overall because it's just Zoroark. Zoroark's HP, and that did well. Um, I also play one Vitality Band because there's all, a lot of those times where you're going to be 10 damage off. No worries, Vitality Band. And then the energy. I play two Caption Energy. This is just so if I need to get um, a Pokemon out, but I don't have a um, trainer card to do so, um, I can use Capture Energy. And then I play 10 Grass Energy. Alright, so that's the deck. Um, so let's go get into some matches. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into our first match. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, so, looks like we're going against, um, I really don't know what we are going against. Um, it could be an ADP Zashian, but the problem is what grass types do they play? It, um, the electric, light, lightning types, I can understand, that's like the Dene. But, what, what exactly, um, grass types does, um, Zashian play? Oh. And then again, this could be another um, weird deck. Um, you don't see many weird standard decks, but, you know, who knows. Alright, so, um, it is Zashin. Oh, this is fine. I'll just netball. Um, let's look through the deck. We got one Thwacky and one Real Boom, that's fine. Um, we got the Life Forest, uh, we got 
all the capture energies. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna get a uh, Celebi. And then... I think I will just nest ball, net ball I mean, and get the Gricky. And then I will, I will save that and I will pass. Um, I don't like the order pad. What ADP is asking, please? Order pad. Okay. I mean, I can't um, really say anything for playing obscure decks. I mean, look what I'm playing. Okay, so yeah, this is ADP Dash. Um. Let me think. Because this is not the best of matchups for me. Now, of course, here's what I can do. If I am able... Do I just need custom catchers? Oh no, it was energy switch. Okay, I was about to say. Not, not many people that play custom catchers anymore. Okay, they play a swell. That's fine. So. They have this ADP in the active spot. That, um... And there's an trap and sword. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so we got on that. We'll go ahead and evolve it to Sincino. I will Elysian Incense, and I will get the real boom. And then I will just go ahead and voltage beat. To get two gas energies. Then I will go ahead and send in you. And then I will quick ball away that uh, so I can get the Denny GX. And then do a clean draw six. Um, I will get Mew out. And then I will get go ahead and get another Sully BB out. We will um, attach a Vitality Band, and then I will um, discard the Mistensino, draw two cards, um, yeah, okay, let's do that, um, we'll get rid of these two, bring up the Dene, and we will Line Force her to knock out. Alright, so, um, okay, there's another Riddle Boom. So right now, I am kind of ahead of the game, but no worries. Okay, so they're gonna uh, get rid of my Bath Holiday Band, that is, um, fine. Now the question is, do they have the third energy? Because they can get a knockout. They just won't take that extra. Okay, so they're gonna actually send in. Oh no, they don't have the metal energy. Oh yikes. Okay. Um, I think I'll just get rid of uh, Mencina. Uh, let me see how many energies am I just gonna? Yeah, we'll go ahead and ordinary rod. Back the um. Mencino is Mencino. And then we will go ahead 
and Line Force. Now they can alter creation, but the problem is that once they do that, uh, they're basically saying, oh, I'm gonna get my ADP knocked out. In, or in the process of doing that. A lot of people. Okay, there's Malamana, that's fine. Now, do they have the mental energy? Because if they do, then. Okay, so you're gonna energy switch, that's fine. Hmm. I need to get. Okay, so the thing is, I know I can lose this still. Here's the problem, because now I'm a three prizer. So here's what I'm gonna do. Or any okay, both of the big charms are in here. Um, we will do that to thin out the deck. We will make do away the Thwacky. I did not get, um, a Grass Energy. I mean, I did not get a Big Charm. Just let me think. I should have attached the Willowman, actually, now think of it. So now, I need to hope that they don't get another- a third energy. Okay, they're gonna get that third energy, I know that. And if they d don't, I'm just gonna be very lucky. But looking at it, they may not have it. But, I honestly don't know. Those five cards could- one of those could- yep, there's the energy. So let me think. Let me think here. So, looking at it, I have to get Big Charm. There we go. Um, so. Here's what I do. I go ahead, and I send him in. Oh, I mean, no, 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 I don't use that yet. So, let me think. I'm gonna have to line force. That's all I can do. Now. Okay, so they sent in the ADP. If they um, hit me, never mind. I lost. GG. More play. Alright, well, um, that's, um, how the deck runs. It, surprisingly for a, a going against an ADP deck, I did not expect to get that far. So I'm actually pretty proud of myself. So let's go on to our second match. And then I think I'll end the video, um, because this deck does, I mean, it's shown, it, um, uh, it, oh, this, I think this is, this is the, um, Green Zard, um, deck. Which this matchup's not bad. Just because it's a fire deck, I did not, like, I did not expect it going against a fire deck. But going against a fire deck is not that bad. 
Actually, I should have let them go first. I'm dumb. I'm big brain. Big brain. Um. They shouldn't. I don't think they all have any, um. Scoop ups. Um, so I can bring him up. Um. This looks like the exact, um, same. Greens are deck. Which, not a bad, not a bad deck. Okay, I'll like to throw that extra card. Um, let's see what we do. Okay, so it is the exact same deck. Because most of the time, what the what people will do is they'll take out. They'll take out on uh, the break zard and just have rush zard. So this is honestly fine. We shall see what they'll do. So, um, okay, so there, I was about to say, are they gonna do anything? Let's see, I'm guessing they're gonna get Volcan. Yep, they're gonna get Volcan. This looks like the exact deck, um, for greens are so far, so I mean, I have a uh, upper hand. But at the same time, I really don't. Yep, this is the exact deck. You don't play Pokemon Catcher. Um, uh, in a green, average greens are deck from what I remember, unless you don't have bosses orders. But of course, um, actually, did, did the greens are deckless play? I can't remember. Let me see, because that's going to bug me. Did it really not? Oh wait, no it did, it played three. Okay. So yeah, okay, so I point proven. But yeah, you just don't I just don't know many people that would play it. Um unless you um play um the exact um league battle deck list. So I'm gonna find a friend. Um, we'll go ahead and get to Dene because if Celebi V does get knocked out, I will have the Dene as a perfect draw. And then I have Netball, so I can. So if they don't knock me out this turn, I can attack. And looking at it, they are not going to be able to fail me this turn. Now, what they could do is Crimson Flare Pillar me just for the extra effect, but I don't think that they want to do that. Okay. Um, let's see what they do. Let's 
Okay, so they're just gonna pass. That's all fine by me. So, well, um, I'm just going to um, get a grass energy with this. And then I am going to voltage beat. Get the um, Stella BB in the back set up. And I'll line force. And like I said, this is probably a great matchup for me. So, I mean, I didn't say it's a great matchup, but uh, for the deck list that's being played, it's a good matchup. So are they going to flare start at me? Or are they going to flare start? That's the only thing that they can do, really. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna play a starter. That's fine. Um, honestly, if I win a match, I'm gonna be happy. So, yeah. Honestly, I think I can win this uh, match. Looking at like how um, they're they're kind of doing, and what board state they're in. Um, let me think. I can go ahead and attach that, and then I think I'll just go ahead and just line force. Another thing I like about this um, being standard is because it's more the standard format's more slow. While um, if you went to expanded, if you played Zoroark and you only had like Zoru in play, you would just get donked immediately, which can get annoying. So to be able to play a type of Zoroark in uh, standard, pretty good. Pretty gosh darn good. Okay, so they're gonna try to Pokemon catcher me. And they fail. Okay, so they're just gonna fly a starter again. Now the question is, what do they fly or start on? They could start setting up the rush starter a little more, but um Personally, I would just go ahead and set up Braxard more. Um, the reason I say that is because, um, well, I'm about to knock it out anyways, but the reason I would say that is because they could have been able to search their deck for three more cards, and so that would have helped them, uh, get back. And even though it's knocking them out, and they'll be a hut behind, but they can still get, like, something like Reset Stamp, and then knock this out. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a win-win. And hold. Sorry guys, my uh, cat just wanted to come into my room. I have three cats, so. And let me know. So looking at this, they could double blaze me for the knockout, which is probably their best bet and at this point. Okay, they're gonna double double blaze me. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and bench him. Now, yes, they can knock me out, in which I think they are. Um, let me see, do I have Ordinary Rod? 
I have two in the deck still. Okay. So let me think. I'm just gonna go ahead and line force, yeah. So. Okay, so they're gonna great potion. That is uh, fine. Alright, let me think, let me think. Um, what would be the best bet right now? How many great potions does that deck play? Um... Oh, no, it plays two. Okay. So. I can win this. I can still win this. And the only- but the only way I can win this is if I go Mew, if I Psy Power all three damage counters onto Reshazard, and then I get uh, Celebi V back out, and then I take the knockout. But that's the only way I'm gonna be able to win. Only way. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get rid of you. So I have to get Ordinary Rod right now. Have to. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna... I'm trying to think. Um... I think I can hold off on trying to get the Ordinary Rod for one turn. So... Yeah. Alright, so let me think. Let me think. Okay, so I lost this. Because now they're just going to start, uh, high heat blasting me for knockouts. So, it's safe to say that, um, I lost this? But let me think. Not even Cyborg can help me. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything I could do? Or anything I could do. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I can do. Like I said, guys, this this deck needs a lot of improvement. So, um, if honestly y'all have any uh, like suggestions for this deck, please leave them in the comments. Now, if you ever you say you should play Marcellabees, then yes, I'm aware of that. I'm gonna get to that once I can get Marcellabees. Um. So yeah. Uh, this appears to be game. Actually, no, it is game. Because they lost. I mean, I lost. I, I cannot speak today. Um, yeah, that's, that's a loss. Well played. It's a well played to my opponent. And they're just gonna rub salt in the wound. Okay. 
Sucker. <clears throat> now you suck me out. Well played. Alright, so that'll be it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what deck you want to see next. Or if you'll have any uh, suggestions for this deck. Because I really want to try to make this deck work. Um, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. And I will see y'all next time. Later.